Hi guys, welcome to Film Companion South. Hey Vishal, how are you? I'm good, man. What, what, are, what are your first thoughts? I mean, like, let's acknowledge our privilege. We are having lines, soda. <laughs> Such yeah. a huge privilege. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, uh, I can't. I won't say I'm disappointed. Hmm. There were like a lot of moments that really worked for me, and and the film. Uh, it's a very primal kind of a movie right? it, it appeals to your core emotions and mo- some when when those moments work or whatever it's very very mm. obvious there's no way those scenes will not won't work, work. Yeah. yeah so there are many scenes that really affect you in in a very primal level yeah but there were also a few moments that didn't work mm. so i won't uh, my feeling is uh, not 100% mixed but uh, you can't also say that it's not like the overwhelmingly uh, heartbreaking movie i thought it would be yeah, see exactly i mean see, i don't know maybe with, with this whole you know goat life mm. that that whole story we we we're slightly familiar with mm. the survival story right so we know that he survives so it's not about will he or will not it's about the transition the journey how it changes him as a person so i was expecting it to be a little bit more philosophical hmm. but i my problem was the, was the same see last time we were here we were talking about malikote wale banan hmm. you just said that the prob- problem with that film was like there was zero emotional connect hmm. i can't say the same about this yeah. because i was moved at yeah. several instances but was i satisfied as a whole no, no and but that's i wouldn't attribute it completely to the movie because i was expecting it to be a philosophical movie i was expecting it to have hmm. layers but i felt the film was so simple i wouldn't call blessy uh, this blessy film that it's it lacks intricacies hmm. maybe that simplicity is a, a a deliberate choice yeah so i'm i'm still in that phase i'm i have those mixed feelings yeah so i i don't think exactly like i mean uh, what we were discussing right before the shoot i i felt like Uh, I felt like the movie was reasonably straightforward. It was very straight. I yeah. wasn't expecting it to be that straightforward. Yeah, because uh, you don't. I mean, Blessy's like I don't know if you know how Blessy's mm. perceived in Malayalam, but he's not a regular director by any means. Okay, mm. like he's like a guy who can really like he he has one direct connection to your heart. It feels like mm. that you know almost where even when you're saying uh, regular stories, even if you're taking us through a, like a regular plot and all that there is a way that he knows how to really affect you like mm. really hit you with the emotions and this is a perfect blessy movie mm. in the sense that okay look at the situation you know look at the number of things this man has to cross yeah. to reach yeah. this point but i was wondering why it's not like that sledgehammer to your soul that yeah. you know it it could easily have been yeah, like again i think we, when you expect when you enter a film like this you expect it to be like what do you call a revelation right yeah. you expect it to have give you some life lessons give you some you know almost like life altering maybe mm-hmm. that's too much of an expectation from a film yeah. but my point was like it's it's so even driven I, i was expecting the film to get into najeem's uh, najeeb's psyche which yeah. which it really doesn't yeah. it it focuses more on his physical struggle which to my god it sells that struggle mm. when they are walking in the desert you feel bad for them you root for them you want their you know their agony to end you want them to succeed yeah. but internally you really don't know mm. that much uh, and i'm sure the book must have offered a you know much deeper peek into their, yeah. their internal psyche right yeah and the book is amazing because uh, it's not really treating the person as a like super sophisticated philosopher okay it's talking it is about a guy who's only educated until his fifth standard his needs are very basic his needs are very primal but through him you are able to understand life you know you get you are able to think so much about life so much about past future hope is hope even worth it all that you automatically get to think yeah but in this like you said 75% of the time you are like man like his leg is broken you know his he's not able to look at himself in the yeah, mirror he's anymore. smelling yeah he's smelling he's crying, yeah. you know imagine how much physical pain he's yeah, in yeah. i'm not able to really get through to that stage where what you know imagine if we were in that situation what he's what, thinking what about what he's thinking yeah. what is his soul going through mm. that i don't know why it's not coming across like it did in the book so obviously mm. so that and uh, like like i was telling you for me another major 
difference from the book that I found missing in this is how uh, eventually it's about a man. It's a beautiful shot in the climax where you see, like, literally you see Prithiraj looking like a goat, right? Like, yeah. even the cover image of the original Malayalam book is of a man who's starting to look like a goat. Uh, yeah. And in this, he's drinking water and he's drinking water. Yeah, that opening shot. Yeah, 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 one of the opening. But that's a beautiful shot. You get that shot, but beyond a couple of, like, beyond a couple of shots like that, you don't really feel that metamorphosis. Yeah, the goat right? life, yeah. Yeah, of, of a man that's become like a goat, a subhuman existence. Yeah. That you don't really come, it's, I don't know why it's not coming across, whereas in the book it is very clear. Very clear that he's not looking at himself as the as the, the Arbab or whatever, the, mm -hmm. the two people who are like his bosses. He's mm -hmm. looking at himself as a goat. One of those, yeah. He's able to survive because he has goats for company. Yeah. But in this goats are goats, that's all. Mm -hmm. So did you feel like that? See, exactly. I, you know, there was one moment, in, I think in the first half or the second half, uh, there is a payoff, right? Again, not a spoiler, guys. You see, when Najib is le leading a normal life, he, he brings mutton home and asks his mother to cook biryani, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then, uh, but his mother say, tells him, why don't you get a goat's leg? There is a payoff to that moment yeah. where he served. But I love that scene. Yeah, I love that scene. Yeah. I wanted more of those moments. Yeah. You know, where this guy, see, you know that, again, there is a great moment where goats show empathy to this guy, right? Yeah. When human is not extending him that empathy, yeah. goats help him at one point. Beautiful moment. I wanted moments like that. They, yeah. I want, I see, I wanted more late, smaller moments. Hmm. But the film, it wants to be epic. It is, I mean, see, with the visuals and all, yeah. gorgeous locations, it is that epic that's there, but I wanted it to be more intimate. Yeah. Intimate means depth, right? So that's where I felt the film uh, kind of didn't deliver, but on, uh, on a broader yeah. uh, scale, it does. It is... My problem with the film is that it's too broad. It's not that intimate yeah. or which I which I which I agree with you partly because it becomes that broad film, mm -hmm. especially in the second half. I think the second half is much longer than the first half, yeah. and it gets it gets into that adventure zone where so many things need to happen for him to survive. Mm -hmm. It goes into that zone, but the first half is where I feel like you really see Blessy. You know, you really feel like there is some thought. There's some. There's a there's a real what do you call it like a contradiction poet yeah know? like a yeah. poet poetic yeah. level there is a there is a, a real human being yeah. you know that you see in Najib and all those uh, especially like I think how we like how we described how uh, the movie is overwhelmingly brown right overwhelmingly mm. sand yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like you yeah. feel the sand in you your feel head. the heat literally and those small little moments when it cuts cuts back to a shot in Kerala or whatever it's like. 70% green, 70% yeah, yeah, green, yeah, yeah. green and the remaining 30-40% is water. You know? Blue, it's, yeah. it's underwater. He's yeah, even underwater. underwater shots are green. It's green, yeah. yeah. Generally, when we, when we see underwater shots, yeah. they're blue. Here, it's green. Yeah, and you see like something so simple. Okay, Actually, if you look at how when Najib gets into that plane and he reaches the airport and then when you see him in that whole desert space for the first time, in that Masara or something it's called, I think, in the book, uh, he's wearing like a blue shirt you yeah. know? and he's the only person who's in any kind of blue in that entire world you know yeah. it's like thousands of thousands of kilometers on every other side is brown and he's a man who's wearing blue, blue. and he's such a beautiful visual way of getting to that fish out of water situation right yeah. and it's only the next shirt that he changes into it becomes a brown shirt yeah. and then the, the next change after that is like a white yeah white long yeah. thing and the Metamorphosis is complete, you know, it's like almost wow. like ah. it's completely gone and become like and I and I love it because it's a movie about identity, right? Mm. You know, you you are who you are because of your home. Where you come from, the people where you, you come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. And layer by layer layer and it happens he's to been all of us. Off that. He's been yeah. stripped off that. If he was a if he, if he had a certain colour to him, he's becoming flat and is becoming just the same as the surroundings. And Amla Paul is wearing green when she lets go of him. I mean, green and blue yeah. and red and all that. You know, so every single layer of his existence in that foreign mm. country is of him being just one among the goats, one yeah. among the livestock, you know. Yeah. And it's like such a beautiful way to kind of think of slavery as where you're literally from not a human, human being. Yeah, yeah you're not yeah. human. So lot of things I really like about them. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, again, um, I might have sounded too, what do you call, negative. But I like the film. I wasn't bored. Yeah. Um, Actually, it's, not, it's very difficult. There's no question of yeah, being bored because yeah, it's so it's eventful. Packed. It's, it's eventful. Yeah. Eventful is the word. Something or the other is, uh, yeah. you know, happening. 
like the, the stakes are you can feel the stakes you are like i said it sells the physical pain really really well it sells that struggle wonderfully yeah. it sells the thread beautifully so you you are you just you, you you just want this guy to you know yeah. survive so in that sense it always has your your emotional uh, investment uh, but like i said i wish it was deeper yeah yeah uh, what did you think about the what did you think about the performances what did you think about before we get to prithviraj what did you think about the other actors i see i felt they were just functional man i just felt they were i don't have anything to say they were very functional no nothing yeah. nothing stood out i mean yeah you have that arab guy every time you see that arab guy you yeah. you are expected to hate him i mean like yeah it's, it's he's a villain and like like the film also i felt it's again a bit basic like there is one bad arab guy and then then there's one good arab mm. guy I, i felt everything was functional i mean again come this is not exactly about performances when uh, najib is reunited with with hakeem right mm. i was hoping these moments were a little bigger yeah you know the, you, you expect a, 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 mo- a moment like that to yeah. you know blow up emotionally or you know you know make you cry but something like that doesn't i mean like there are instances where it really yeah. hits you Uh, but i wish even you know moments like that were more yeah, pronounced because literally in the book i know i'm i'm being very unfair by comparing it too much mm. to the book but then imagine a plight of a person who is uh, starting to look at himself almost like a goat and his the other real human interactions are miserable mm. so yeah, imagine yeah. seeing your friend after 3 years mm. like seeing a real human being who's from your same place yeah, after 3 yeah. years it's so much more than getting water yeah, or getting yeah. any kind of a human need right yeah. but as it, this is almost like okay you're there i'm seeing you hi it you know? plays out like a factual yeah you no know, it's it has happened okay yeah you know so that is a um, i'll tell you another thing i really liked about the the way they kind of interact with that whole human bit because it's not a very conventional way of using flashbacks right Mm. and uh, it's interesting how it's like every time he's taking a nap or every time he's holding on to like a pickle jar or something that's when he's cutting back mm. to a flashback but the second that metamorphosis Ends, take place yeah, or whatever yeah. the second he accepts that there is no point in being hopeful you can try to survive to try to somehow yeah, manage yeah, yeah. living here then you never get a the glimpse of amalapur yeah, yeah. you never get a glimpse of kerala the water the rain nothing yeah. you know so it really destroys that hope that you have in the first half because you are at least looking at it you know like mm. at least seeing something that is like yeah sometimes like for every 10 minutes or yeah, 20 minutes so, you are getting yeah. yeah i thought that was a very nice writing choice what did you see i was just telling you that those little moments i mean like see i don't want to contradict myself by saying that i wanted the film to have uh, more little moments and then i'm telling that i wanted this emotional moment to have to be bigger yeah when i say that i'm also asking you do you think it's partly attributed to ar rahman's score maybe i felt it was you know functional yeah and score i mean not songs at few instances i felt it was very functional i mean like when there is hope you get a hopeful music when there is mm. when someone is dying you get a obviously it was very where do you stand on this i feel like uh, i agree to, to to some extent i agree to what you're saying because uh, this is the score you expect from ar rahman i felt like that mm. of course you're going to ar rahman because he's a specialist and you know that he knows this is his zone mm. but he's not surprising you beyond that mm. okay of course this is what ar rahman is going to do you f- feel like that which is when i feel so happy when he's using the two songs because i love the two yeah, songs yeah, yeah. so when he's using the songs when he's finding new ways to bring those song- tunes back i'm enjoying it but as a regular score like there's a portion where he's using like a piano when it looks like uh, hope, the, hope, yeah, yeah, yeah character yeah. scene hope. then i felt like it's something he used to do mm. uh, which is nothing new it's nothing new anybody would do that is, yeah. yeah i'm not saying that he should play sad music to yeah. a, a hopeful scene but yeah it felt a bit functional i'm not saying it's bad i felt yeah, it's yeah. very yeah, it is it is yeah functional and yeah. that's what how would, that's pretty much how, like how, like how i would like to describe the movie also it was a very functional movie it mm. a, it, it does a good job of 70 80% of the things but it doesn't surprise go beyond, you yeah. yeah go beyond that you you expect see again i wouldn't blame them because they said it's a survival yeah film. so it's a survival film i think as a survival film it's it's, it's pretty good but 
philosophy you know i was yeah. expecting different layers in it on that sense on that front i was a bit disappointed but as a survival film it was it's, it's good hmm. what about uh, prithviraj i would say prithviraj sold the physicality of his performance beautifully ha huh. it's a very physical performance right yeah it's a very physical performance and he he sold it man he sold it yeah i mean that physicality part i can but yeah internally I do, yeah. do i feel like i know najib more because you know in the second half all the things that he goes through do i know is najib very different from the other two characters like ibrahim kadri and mm-hmm. hakim I, not really you know like they they all three of them feel like they're in the same situation mm-hmm. but they are not really totally different characters mm-hmm. i don't know why that in, in, that internal life is not coming across whereas in the book it's very obvious yeah yeah but i mean like you said it's a very physical you really feel bad the the move the scenes that you were watching oh, yeah. like this you know like yeah, oh my yeah, god yeah. this when they're showing his feet and all yeah. that like yeah yeah so i think i think i think it's it's an inevitable peril you know when you are adapting uh, or a love much loved book and like you said book yeah. is book is going to be a book it's going to be much more detailed the film yeah. is the film is 2 hour 53 minutes long but it's still at the yeah. end of the day it has the the constraint of you feel like that, like that a bridge time. version yeah. yeah 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 so that happened and in that process i think the film traded what do you call depth for yeah engagement i would say yeah so i think that's my problem with, with the film but like i said i had a good time yeah i i also had a like a, overall it's not a movie that mm. that is just forget it's not a malego de valle movie i would agree i would say, agree, I would say that it's not a <laughs> movie that i will forget or anything yeah, yeah. it was even now i really really like it really affected me when he talks to his wife after all those you know that phone call and all that i was really like silent yeah. so when those scenes hit you it really hits you yeah. but what i kept wondering was like this is blessy you know? yeah. he's made you cry more more times than your relatives have <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so that in that case i don't know why it didn't really wasn't completely it like, didn't divest it yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe we are just expecting too much of the film but that's okay blessy higher standards so i think it's yeah. fair only the criticism is fair only if you're not okay. feeling the same yeah so guys thank you very much for watching the review and do subscribe to film companions also